Welcome to the podcast. Podcast. What day is it? Wednesday. Yeah. Hello, Wednesday podcast. Mm-hmm. Mm. Big day Hi. today. Big Wednesday. Big week. I've Big had a Wednesday massive energy. day. I thought about running away this morning. Yeah, you said yeah, that. Yeah, that's a, I, 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 that's, <laughs> that's deep. Well, no, <laughs> I, I, I've just got a lot on. And then we were filming something at my house and there was all these crew, like lovely crew, but they were all bumping in upstairs. And I was just like, I could just run right now. If I just run, but I didn't know where to run. Yeah, okay. Uh, like, I just probably run unfair. to the cafe next door. Unfair yeah. to me, I guess, because we've given out, like, heaps of credits and information and stuff like that. And if you run away from, from no, your... No, I'm dish. excited to do the show, but it was just like... <laughs> oh, oh, you mean just, today specifically? Today just specifically. Oh, and right. I wasn't, you know, <laughs> jamming the small talk. And girlfriend was being very aggressive to everybody coming around. Oh. Yeah. That's a reflection on maybe the Maybe she was... Yeah, I was going to say, maybe she was feeling <laughs> your <laughs> energy. I know. I'm feeling bad because I'm meant to be a dog expert. I did a documentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And girlfriend's being a little bit poorly behaved. Yeah. Maybe you need to smack her. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, that's a joke. I know. What? But she did, Connery's arrived. She did get de-sexed on Monday, so, I mean, she's oh, going through it. Of course she did. If she's I got de-sexed on Monday, I'd probably be pissed off if some crew were coming home on Wednesday. I thought you had, get out of my house. I thought you had been de-sexed. <laughs> well, this year, I think I have been. I think I'm asexual. <laughs> well... I don't think when you've got your blonde hair, you're asexual, though. Do you think I'm a bit sexy with my blonde hair? When, when you've got your blonde hair, you're V-sexual. Very, very sexual. So? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it looks That's good, mate. Fun. It does look good with your black T-shirt, too. Yeah. I'm, I'm a hottie. You okay. know, I do love that T-shirt of yours. It's a good one. I know. I, I've worn it a bit lately, and I was a bit embarrassed to be wearing it in again today. You're so funny. <laughs> what do you mean embarrassed for it? I wear this all the time. I like to change, yeah, but I like to change up my look. I think because I think people come to our Instagram to see what look I'm saying. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. They want to see the looks. variety, the color. <laughs> Enjoy the, the podcast, patterns. guys. Lots happening on today's show, including the Google off. That was fun. And tomorrow, one of your last chances to get tickets for Reach and Joel's family Christmas. Jump on the Nova Play register. You can be a part of that, that action tomorrow on the show, and you could win your way there because your shows kick off tomorrow. Yes, bring it on. I won't run away, I promise. This is Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. It's Ricky Lee, it's Tim Blackwell, it's Joel Creasy, it's the gang. Yo, yo. Yes, guilty as charged. Today I feel uh, Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. I think this could be the best show ever. This is the best show in my whole life. Hanging out with friends. Wow. we the up and about party show. Turn it up, Tim. Oh, yeah. Shoot your shot. I have <laughs> such a good feeling about today's show. Really Me good too. Yeah. We're all in our theatre blacks. In the loin. Yeah. Mm. Oh, everyone's dressed like me today. Everyone's in black. It's the best yeah. day of my life. Oh, my life. God, Jermaine's in black too. Well, who's Jermaine? I don't know. That oh, it, was nice, it was nice having Jermaine with me He introduced Melbourne himself yesterday. to me before. Hi, I'm Jermaine. Oh, yeah, he was down Some, there with you Sunday yesterday. Night. I know, yeah. It was lovely. Gem and I have a bit of company. <laughs> Other than the, the rat? The rat. I haven't seen the Is rat in a, rat a couple of weeks. A mouse. A mouse. We think oh, it's a mouse. mouse. Okay. It was in our office, specifically our office, though, and, the other day. And I saw, because we have a camera, um, a link between your office in Melbourne and you're on a yeah. screen in our office, and you had the door closed to your office and your little, your little mouse friend was in there with you two. Yeah, it's like a housemate now. We should call him Chairman, Chairman Mouse. <laughs> Political. Um, anyway, <laughs> lots happening on today's show. We will spin the Wednesday real very so soon. Oh, um, and guess what? Real. We've got 100 bucks to spend at Nando's, and I think Nando's has just hit the Melbourne office. I just got to wrap some chips and oh, some job. tenders. Oh, no, it's really making me delicious. Some chicken tendies. Okay, yeah, it's about 10 protein. minutes away from us. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know. And more tickets to Reese and Joel's Christmas, family Christmas. Um, if you're going to be, look, if you're lucky, you can find tickets. But they're yes. probably all gone. But this is probably know, your best bet, exciting. right? Yeah. Uh, yes. It kicks off tomorrow night in Wollongong. Is that right, Joel? I know. Wollongong still has tickets available, but elsewhere, ugh, good luck. Comedyrepublic.com.au. You can win them with us in half an hour. Right ooh, now, though, take five. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. On Nova. Hey, apparently Taylor's moved into the old Kansas mansion. <gasps> Good cheese! Yeah. What do you mean the Kansas mansion? Like with Travis? Tra- with Travis. Yeah, the big Kels dog. Wow. Kels dog mm. f- billionaire. I feel like she's kind of managing him. 
like like as in like a, like a, like an agent sort of way. Like oh, yeah. she's sort of making him a star. I make him a star he's, kid. He's a big <laughs> star though in his own yeah, but he, right. I know because we don't really you know in a microcosm compared to her. She's she's international, mate. NFL oh is yes, in a, in, yes, yes, yes. He's this big I know what you star. mean, but in the states. Huge. Yeah, one country. Boring. <laughs> she's international, mate. Huge. <laughs> one country. Yeah, she's doing all right. The NFL is like runs a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Does it? Does it really? Yep. It? Yep. Wow. Wow. I thought the White House did. America. They make all the political decisions and they take care of uh, the. Ah, uh, fun. <laughs> what about your boyfriend, Joe? You've got the hots for Joe. Can you give me no, the Joe's NFL, too old for me now. NFL sting, please. <laughs> now. Damn. No, Joe was hot Joe when is. he was like licking the ice creams with his aviators on. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, uh, the Kansas Chiefs uh, are doing very well this season. Running America. I heard. Yeah. I actually read, I read an article on the NFL last weekend, right? They're thinking of potentially taking the helmets out of the game because it will make people tackle more carefully. Because you know, because you got helmets on, yep. they just tackle people with their heads, and that's what why it's got more head injuries oh than any other sport, more than rugby league and rugby union. Yeah, but even all of the all of the stuff that they wear under their, I was gonna say costumes, <laughs> under their <laughs> uniforms, yeah, um, it's I pretty know. crazy the amount. Like, and I, they're always shocked when they look at a rugby and AFL, like football in Australia, yeah. and think. But we do tackle like... carefully though here because your head is exposed, whereas they just yes. go, "Well, I'm just ramming you with my whole body." And I'm treating you like a brick wall and me mm. like, I don't know, brick shit house. Yep. We're a bit more you acoustic thought, with our jerseys it. and our, our, our um, sports uniforms. Yeah. I like their I'm little tight. Tar- I'm going to universe factor. Go big. Go big. Go big. I love their little tight, like their little like Lululemon leggings I love that they wear when they it. when they perform the, at the football concerts. Yeah, it's nice. Like the white ones. Yeah. Mm. Like that's dangerous. Is that a way? White means away, doesn't it? Or is that just in Australia? When you wear white know. shorts, it means you're the, the away oh. team. Oh, I thought it was just a style no, I think choice. The, I think the Chiefs always wear the white yeah, ones. Yeah, maybe. I think that might be an AFL thing. White okay. shorts means, means you're away. the away team. But, you know, because I'm a bit of a creep. Yeah, same. My eyes can't help but zoom in I know, on the tight don't... white leggings. Mm-hmm. They leave little to the imagination. Teeny tiny to the imagination. Same with the UFC guys. Oh, really? Yeah. When there's someone's foot's on someone's throat, you're looking at the penis, eh? Of course I am. <laughs> How did, my name's Sarah Jordan. I'm going to text a <laughs> Of course I am. Apparently, yes, they use white white for a white colour in the NFL. Oh, there well. you go. There you go. Anything well, else? Stop, Chase! Any other NFL news you want from me? No, I'm sports out. So sports out. Okay, good. Why mm. don't next we talk about food? More up our alley. Perfect. Because we want to know, because there's certain kinds of people. I, I don't fall into this category. There are certain people that eat the same thing every day. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I'm trying to think if I do that. What Maybe do you not. eat every single day? Every day I'm eating the same thing. I'm pretty <laughs> much in that category. Seriously? Yeah. Rich and we have a very, like I wake up every morning, it's a coffee and a banana for breakfast. And mm-hmm. then lunch is generally hummus, carrots. Oh, what did you call me? <laughs> <laughs> hummus, carrots, um, olives, pickled onions, a bit of cheese, oh, bit of cherry tomatoes. Oh, okay. Well, you, 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 you know. Yeah. And, then, <laughs> and then for dinner, like mostly chicken salad, which you obviously hate. Mm. Yeah, video. Lamb cutlets every now and then, steak every Saturday night. Okay. It's the same all the time. All right. Well, 13, 20, 14 next. Every day I'm eating the same thing. Uh, tell us what you're eating the same thing every day. <laughs> Very quickly, the white shorts away. How's this for a good start? It came yeah. because of black and white TV. It was easy to follow. Wow. So there you go. Stat man. Stat man. Wow. Let's go to hey. killers now on a Wednesday afternoon. What? Stat man. <laughs> <laughs> Killers. Strangely, one of the UK's biggest anthems, even though they're from Nevada, you know? Nevada. That, that song Nevada. blew up in London and stuff before it did in the US. Huge. Oh, Huge. They should be happy with that. that. They're really happy with that, actually. I think they would yeah. be. Brandon Flowers Stoke. is actually a bit chuffed. Yeah, he should be. He yes. should be walking around real proud of himself. Yeah, he I is. thought he'd be a lot mm. chuffed. He's a great front man. Not just a bit. A little bit.
a little bit chuffed. Um, people who eat the same thing every day, Blech, boring. 13, 20, 14, <laughs> let's talk about it. Every day I'm eating the same thing. Um, I love this story. <laughs> I love it so much because I love a Christmas. I love the Christmas day lunch. Like we do the traditional turkey in yeah. our house. Love it. Mum gets up at 4 a.m. to put the turkey on. Mm-hmm. Um, but this lady, 68-year-old Jane, she loves Christmas, right? Loves Christmas lunch yeah. so much. She has had more than 8,000 or Christmas dinners after developing a taste for them after her four kids moved out. Oh, that does look good. So she has a Christmas dinner every single night. She makes it every night, Christmas dinner for herself. Yeah. Her must-haves are gravy, sprouts, meat and potatoes. She does all in one pan for about 40 minutes every oh, day she? after work <laughs> to change that meat. Sp- the meat, the sprout, all of it. it must just All in one pan. In one yeah. pan. She's just mad for it. And she adds like a different condiment every now and then, like a mustard or a cranberry sauce. But when she goes out for dinner, she will pick whatever is closest to a Christmas dinner (laughs) on the menu. (laughs) The roast roast special. She loves it. I mean, it is delicious. But having over 8,000 of them. No. Yeah. I couldn't have steak and fritz every day. That's my favourite. Or peaking duck pancakes. Couldn't you though? Yeah, couldn't you though? oysters. Oh, yeah. Or thirteen. So <laughs> horny all the grandma's time. coming over or not. <laughs> <laughs> she loves her oysters. I guess it's those people who use food as fuel. They're the ones I always picture eat the same thing all the time, as opposed to use it for enjoyment. Rich is like that. Rich, if if I if he wasn't with me, mm-hmm. he would. And this is what he oh, would yeah. eat before me. He would eat boiled eggs. Steamed vegetables, you know those little sad bags of steamed vegetables yes. that you put in the microwave Mind for like yeah. two minutes? Yeah, that, yeah. Parmesan cheese and canned tuna. That's all he ate. Where does the palm go on the in, on all in, that? in with the tuna and the Chum and the steamed fish vegetables? And fish and cheese. No, oh. I mean he puts Vegemite on an omelette that's burnt. Like this guy is next level. Like what? does it? He only eats for Actually, fuel. What were you guys eating then when I came over that time? That was chickeny. That was that, you made that though. That looked nice. Yeah. Yeah. He's not cooking. Oh no. He when you're not then, cook. he's not cooking. <laughs> no, he cooks boiled eggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And eats canned tuna and microwave vegetables because <laughs> that's all he can cook. <laughs> oh my God. I, I don't even. Mini... I don't even let him make my toast. He would... oh, really? Nah, can't Is even do Jack? toast. That's like Jack. Can't do it too. Can't do any. Oh, he's he like, no, he just celery, on the toast. I remember. Remember, I remember when I was I was doing a gig after work every day, so I had to bring my dinner into work, and he was he. <laughs> well, he could, there's nothing that man won't put tapenade on. Yeah. Does he put ta- tapenade on Gomez's food? <laughs> no way. <laughs> so you're no admitting way. it now? No, I don't know who that is. Are you still uh, tapenade in that? <laughs> 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 All right, we've got people here. Mark Salty. and Leah stay on the line. Faye, Hi. what do you eat every single day? Um, so for lunch, every single day I have tuna and rice. Me, 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 me. Tuna and tuna rice. Tuna and rice. Do you put any? Do you put soy sauce with it or anything like that? Uh, salt, salt and pepper. Yep. Um, sometimes I get the beans, and if I'm lucky, I'll get corn. If you're lucky, oh. if you're lucky, what do you have to do to have a lucky day, Faye? <laughs> to remember to buy the corn at the shop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's why I don't really like breakfast that much because I like getting to 11 and thinking I can eat lunch now. And lunch can be anything you want it yeah, to be. It's yeah. so exciting. Oh. Lunch is the best meal of the day. Oh, I think yeah. so too. I had yeah. the best laksa for lunch the other day. I was like, oh, that's just set me up for the day. You know? I need to know where you go and get laksa because I'm branching out. I, I need told to have you, some laksa I, in my life. I told you where. I'll, it's the best. Oh, and well, you one... line up and it's only on the Thursday or something? We're going to Don't tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. And it's really, actually, you could walk there. What? Yes, mate. <gasps> I don't walk anywhere. Let's be real. I'll meet you there. <laughs> hey, Mark, how you doing? What do you eat every day? Get out, you bloody legend. Hi, oh, um, hey, Mark. I have beef mince for lunch and a steak for dinner. I'm on a carnivore diet. Beef, beef mince on mince. its own? <laughs> yeah, meat. with salt. Meat, meat, meat. Beef mince. How much in one for lunch every day? How much beef grams? mince are you having? Uh, probably about 300 grams. And with oh, what? Are you cooking it up? Hungry. Sorry? Are you cooking it up? Yeah, yeah, just cook, cook it up. And there's three meals for the next three days. Are you adding anything to it, though? Oh, like wow. you, an onion, a garlic, a tomato base thing? No, nah, nah, oh kind God. of all. So just, just salt. Mark, just you, meat dr- you'd be having your meat oh, dreams. Oh, meat dreams. Imagine, yeah. imagine his little heavy... Like, you need a toilet brush around Mark. Is that... <laughs> 
You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Mark, are you are you sh- <laughs> what's your, are you shredded? <laughs> no, no, oh. I'm down about twenty kilos. Okay. Oh. Kilos. How oh, many it's... toilet brushes do you go through a year? <laughs> no, well you'll you'll be surprised though, on the meat diet. Yeah. Don't really? Have that much. Is that really? Right? Wow. I like mm. it. I like okay. it. Okay. No reverse kangas at Mark's place. <laughs> I don't want mints for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> a reverse kanga. Brilliant. Okay, Leah, what do you eat every day? Hey, I start, hey guys, Vicky Hello. Tindall, how are you? Hey, guys. Oh, hey, thank you for addressing us by name. Yeah, good things. I start the day every day by having my beet juice with my beet and my celery and carrot and a bit of turmeric and ginger. Oh, and so good for you. It gets me going till about 11. Yep. I like what the guy said before, Joel said about how then you can just have whatever you want at lunchtime. Yeah. But the guy yeah, said, yeah, was, as in Tim. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're very similar. Yeah, that's right. Mm. <laughs> did you read our names off a sheet before? <laughs> no, I'm remembering out of my... I do listen to you guys. Oh, oh, thanks, thanks Leah. Thank you, Leah. Uh, all right. Good stuff. Eat the same thing every day if you want to. One wheel. One spin. Time for Wednesday. Yes, thanks to our good guys at Nando's. Fiery times, fight up flavor. We've just been experiencing some of that in real time. So Ooh. many tendies. Mm, so many I tendies. Know. So what many... was the sauce you said is really good? The Perry Nays. Mm. Yes, it was good. And then there was a box of hummus for there you. There was a box of hummus, <laughs> and um, there were sweet potato chips for you. Because you, yeah. you, you love it. Mm. What anyway. do you love? Mm. I, I love a box of hummus. Yeah, a bit of a humbum. Um, so if you want to play Wednesday Wheel Game with us today, you can after five, and you can score 100 bucks to spend at Nando's. Okay, shall we? Delish. I, yep. I think I, I'm not allowed to talk about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had a special thing from Nando's. Oh. An Ed Sheeran special thing. Oh. oh fancy. Yeah. Whoa. Mm. I'm just waiting for you to tell me that I can do it. Okay, go. No, I need you to. What do you got, by the way? You got like a bowl of bread. Yeah, totally. Bowl of bread. (laughs) Bowl of bread. Yum. Bowl of bread. What are you in the mood for? Stop it! (laughs) Oh my god. I (laughs) would like. Why is she being such a dick today? Because it's really dark and rainy outside. Google off. Because it's really dark outside. No, I know, thanks. It's really dark outside. It's scary. In Sydney. It's scary. Yeah, it's everyone dark else has got their own scary. weather. It looks scary in Brisbane today, Doesn't too. It, I, we can't even see. Look. No, I know. Our view's completely gone. It's, it's like a pea super out there. Oh, it's dark here, too. Gloomy. Well, then curl around the radio. Yeah. Curl up. Listen to this. Curl up. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. On Nova. Thanks, Doge. Said what I said. Oh, you know I love Doge, you can't. Is she still your favourite? No. no you went but off the boil a bit. I was really into that song for a while, but you know me, I go I go through, you know, songs that I love for three weeks and then they just drop off my playlist. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a real obsessor over songs. Some. I listen to them over and over and over and over. Like, mm. I'm still listening to the Beyonce album every day. Oh, really? really? Yeah. Love yeah, it. I guess I'm doing the same with the Wicked soundtrack. I do listen to that, you know, several times a week. Oh my gosh, Joel, guess what I listened to on the plane coming home from Perth the other day? I think I know. Was it Les Mis? Yeah, it was the sound, the original cast soundtrack from <gasps> London um, for Les Mis. And I love it oh, so much. I love Les Mis. Would have been a fun flight. It was so fun. I even um, put one of the my AirPods in Rich's ear for a bit of the flight and he fell asleep listening to it. So oh. it was very peaceful. Be like, master of the house, yeah. keeper of the inn. I did a, I did a <laughs> share <laughs> audio with the AirPods. You know, you can do that on the new up- update, so you can have two sets of AirPods listening to the same phone. Yeah, it's real fun. Oh, that's, oh, that's so cool. good. Could you have both have to have pros? Because he's got the Povo old ones. I've got Povo old ones. Oh, good. Yeah, so there that's you go. fun. Yeah, there you go. I don't Could even you... have AirPods. I've got some off-brand version. Do you? Little black yeah, ones? I've lost so many pairs of AirPods. The Amazon ones anymore. are good. Amazon ones are good. I don't like JBL or something. Oh, yeah. That's cute. It's like a uni student. I know. I feel cool. <laughs> yeah, I feel yeah. a bit, you know, a bit off Broadway with them. Yeah, a bit cool, like one of the cool yeah. festival kids. Yeah, um, what's now look, that? Breathing is important, but sometimes breathing annoys other people. Yeah, it's a bit much sometimes. <laughs> you know oh, what I mean? You played Beyonce. Thank you. <laughs> um, 30, 24, 10, Where do you sit on breathing? Are you with a heavy breather? Are you the heavy breather? 
Where does breathing come into your life? Does it annoy you from your partner, yeah. for, for instance? Yeah. Well, cause Sometimes. Heavy breathing turns into snoring, I think. And mouth breathing. Mouth breathing. You've got, well, to, you've got to learn to breathe through your nose. It's very important. Why is it very important? I hear it this just really, all the time. It really is. Just a big, deep breath through your nose. Close your mouth. In and out through your nose. Very important. I don't know why. That's the end of my medical I knowledge. I definitely sleep with my mouth open, though. Do yep. you, so what, do you sleep through your nose? Sleep through your nose. Yeah, I sleep through my nose. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You breathe through your nose <laughs> when you pillow? sleep? Yeah, I'll be sleeping through yeah, my yeah, nose yeah. tonight. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I think the only noise I make in my sleep is this. <laughs> oh, no. I'm a we, very quiet sleeper. We're a room full of snorers because it's Jack, Are myself, you? and girlfriend, and, and you it's all like snore. an earthquake. Really? In there. <laughs> yeah. All right, third and twenty-four ten. How do you breathe? That's funny. How do you breathe? <laughs> How do you breathe? How do you breathe? How do you? Remember this? I love this song. Isn't it the best? Breathe me. Excuse me. So good. It's such a good song. Mm-hmm. Um, well, we have white noise in our house because Rich can't stand noise. The living end. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I like a bit of the white noise to sleep. Yeah. Mm. Um, but all Lynn... that I'm hearing from you. <laughs> it's white relaxing. Noise. White noise. White noise. White noise. Night night, honey. Have a good sleep. Sweet dreams, sweet eight. Life partner. Life partner. <laughs> well. You know, Linda Evangelista, we all recently watched The Supermodels. Yeah. Wow. One of the Linda OG supermodels does love a turtleneck. She really does. I wonder why. Mm. Does love a turtleneck. Well, there was a medical issue that went, a procedure that went oh, wrong, okay, which is sorry. the reason. I was just saying that she, she looks so good in them. Oh, oh, she's right. Queen Linda Evangelista. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. <laughs> sorry, two seconds. Just have to say one thing to Tim. <laughs> I'm so nervous that some words are going to come out. Oh, yeah. no, I wouldn't even whisper those words. <laughs> They're words that need to be yelled. Um, <laughs> um, so she has, she's been single for quite some time and she said that she doesn't date because she does not want to hear anybody <sighs> breathing next to her. The quote I is... That. I don't want to sleep with anybody anymore. I don't want to hear somebody breathing. So she is She's, going to be it. single forever. That's and I'm it. Quite, I, you know, I'm kind of with her. I like it. Okay, Rob, where, where do you sit on breathing? How do you do it? How do the people with you do it? What's happening? Well, yeah, I'm not a fan of loud, loud breathing. Um, I'm a twin and my brother is the loudest breather I've ever <laughs> met. And I don't get it because, I mean, I breathe like a normal person. And yeah. then my brother comes along and as he's breathing at such a loud, like, <laughs> intensity. I mean, I've been telling him off for eating loud for many years now. And I feel bad for telling him off for breathing loud. And so- he's just going to say, oh, you're a whinger. But I can't do it. Like, I don't get it. Your brother's the loud one? Yeah. yeah, my twin brother, and like it's not—it's not the way we're built because we're built exactly the same. We're identical, and I don't breathe loud. It must just be a bad habit. He just didn't learn day. how to breathe properly, Rob. Wow, Rob! I don't know, I'm gonna have to slap him around a bit, like breathe normally, like honestly. <laughs> <laughs> you're my well, favourite you're caller we've had all year. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. On Nova. An American town. Thank you, Shiro. We love it. American town. American town. English girl. Mm. In American, American town. town. Mm. It doesn't really grind oh. on me, that song. Really? No, there's something about it that really just, I don't know, grinds my gears. Scratch cat. Scratch cat. Oh, the silly season's upon us. We're putting the tree up this weekend. Ooh. Wow. Now, yeah. what's your strategy for your tree? Is it just the kids just The kids just go for it. So we have rush. boxes of decorations. Yep. Um, the elves will be visiting, obviously, from December 1. People oh, who know God. what we're talking about, the elf, elf on the, on the shelf. shelf. Yeah. So that is a game changer. When the elf oh, comes yeah. to visit on December 1, it's like goodbehaviour.com.au. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, what goes on the top of your tree? Is it a star or an angel? It's a picture of you. Oh, both. Yeah, topless. <laughs> An angel star. <laughs> angel star. Uh, no, yeah, a star. I put the star up and do the lights, and then the kids just literally throw stuff that they've made and yep. that they've found. And sometimes we've even had printouts of 
Christmas pictures and just four A4 bits of paper just up there. <laughs> sure. Amazing. Go for it. It's like nuts. It is nuts. Oh my I gosh. I know people that, that are really anal with their Christmas trees and that would just, oh, that would set them off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when you lean into the fact that it's like, we'll just let the kids do this, it's kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you know what you could do to get in the spirit? Go to Reese and Joel's Family Christmas. Tickets on sale now. Head to comedyrepublic.com.au forward slash Reese and Joel. You can register on the Nova Player too. That might be easy for you because we've got them every day this week. Or mm-hmm. novafm.com.au. You kick off in Wollongong tomorrow. Yeah, if you want Exciting. tickets, come to the Gong because Sydney, oh no, Sydney still has a few tickets on left. Friday. Melbourne and Brisbane, Perth sold out. Yes, but for Sydney on Friday. And then Brisbane Sydney Saturday, Friday. then Hobart next week, Perth next week, Adelaide next Friday, Melbourne uh, the following Saturday and Tuesday. Massive. Yes. Massive. Huge. Yeah, and this, I, I, I think I can say this now because it was at, went out online <laughs> yesterday, but with the Saturdays being filmed for uh, a TV special, which is exciting. So good. Can mm. you say who it's for and with? For Binge. Woo! My mates at Binge. Wow, you're so love binge. bingey with Real Housewives and now this. I know, such a really bingey cool. bit. It's our last week on air next week, and I've got a really chill week. I'm just yep. doing the Housewives reunion, my Christmas special, and doing the tour. Yep. So, um, and this show. You'll You're have gonna... a real binge in your bonnet. Yep. I'll be a real treat by Friday. You're going to be such a binge. <laughs> um, hey, Maddie, how are you? We want to know your wildest family Christmas to get these tickets. Go for it. Hey, guys. So quite a few years ago, it must have been around 10 years ago when I still had toddler age cousins, um, my dad was trying to be the cool uncle and did a chocolate fountain. Oh, Turns out he hadn't fancy. quite melted the chocolate enough, so when he then put it in the fountain, um, the bit that hadn't melted lodged in it and started lifting the fountain while it was still going, but it also started <laughs> propelling it. Um, and my <laughs> uncle picked up my toddler um, cousin and literally used him as a human shield. Oh my so gosh. then when eventually one of like the aunties would turn the chocolate fountain off, he put my cousin down and he literally had an outline of a toddler on him. <laughs> oh my gosh. A chocolate fountain for Christmas is very That's fancy, very even fun. attempting so it. I love it, Maddie. Congratulations. You got tickets. Well done. Thanks so much, guys. See you there, Maddie. And here's to a fountain, well, an issue free fountain Christmas for you this year. Look, fingers crossed. Mm, maybe do a fondue. Mm. Wow, oh, a cheese, cheese fondue. Yum. Yum. More tickets tomorrow, guys. Some more tickets. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. On Nova. Oh, what have you just looked at? Well, we were talking before about. Um, how much breathing can annoy people when they're yeah. sleeping next to a heavy breather. And Tim from Frankston said breathing through the nose filters the air through the nostrils. Filter. Oh, like a... Mm. It's, it's all also little hairs are for, right? In very your nose. good. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's also very good. Like I don't do a lot of this, obviously, but they always talk about it in meditation and, and yoga and things. Yeah. Breathing through your nose. Oh, Yes. yes. And when you're exercising too, breathing through your nose is very good. Mouth breathers are like, hi, (laughs) how are you? I feel like I'm sometimes a mouth breather. I breathe like precious when I exercise. (laughs) (laughs) The glasses. Sweaty. On screen. On screen. Hey, Gabbery. Um, Let's check the world of glossies, shall we? What's happening here? Is that um, Zane? No. That is That's bad cl- bunny. It is oh. bad bunny, man. He's got pearls. And this is going to be controversial. On the side of his leg. Messed, messed himself. He's <laughs> quite good looking. <laughs> Lionel Messi. Um, <laughs> is, he, is he dating Kendall Jenner? Is this? No. Yes. Oh, what is he? He is? This is not the, this is not the story, though, because this oh. has been controversial. You're controversial. Bad Bunny's been labelled <laughs> the king of pop by Forbes magazine. All right. Hold my, Michael Jackson, hold my beer. The king of pop. I, the not, Bad Bunny seems to have been like, not for, well, yeah, I'm going to say it forced upon us this year. I'm going to. You know, yeah, like, but, but like you with the nowhere. NFL, you have no idea how huge he is around the world. Like no, he is I, as I, big def- as I do know. It gets. I do know that he's huge. And also, you have to admit as well, kings like like would King Charles exists now because the Queen has passed. Oh, we passed Michael yeah, we Jackson marks. will always be the king of pop. He's got a few great clouds hanging over his. Yeah, uh, yeah, his yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I'm yes, not. Yes. But I'm not still... fully sold on MJ. Got a hot take. Mm-hmm. Hot take. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm a bit. I get a bit nervy around MJ. Mm-hmm. You're too. 
Ooh. I, I like his music, You're sure. <laughs> hey, I've, I'm, I've had a lot of um, procedures in the last week to <laughs> Benjamin bring, Button yourself. bring my age down a little. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Let, let, yeah, let's let's sing Michael Jackson songs in A minor, <laughs> hold the A. <laughs> uh, anyway, Bad Bunny, King of Pop. Look, you know what? Let's go guess. with it. Let's go with it. Um, okay, next glossy. This is crazy, this, this next glossy. This is very. Oh, this is your girlfriend. I love Claudia Carvin I so know much. You do. I know but, you. Like, she's to the beautiful. Point where I would like to marry her. Like she... I, I, I would like to marry Claudia Carvin is she just for like a year pass? or two. No, because I think Hall Pass is like. I think we'd be really great together. Have you met her? <laughs> you know, I've, I've met her once, mm. and I sat next to her on a plane on the way back from Splendor Did you with her like a four daughter. Year old? No, I was so overly polite and nice. I, oh, that's I, could, not you. I couldn't be myself. <laughs> I imagine in person as well. She's just very like oh, she's so just gorgeous, sp- like enchanting. Yeah. And I love the, and I love the stand show bump. I'm right into bump. It's a great Australian show. Anyway, that's not the story. Do you know the story? Uh, Something about uh, she's been caught, um, not caught, she's but a, she's pashing. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Pashing Tony Collette's ex. ex. Yes. So Tony Collette, heavyweight. Yep. Corley Carvin, what? heavyweight. In the, in the world of acting, and yeah. Tony split up with David Galifassi or Galifassi <laughs> late last year and has now been caught at Bondi. David's got court. a type, well, doesn't I mean, he? Caught, I bet, you know. But look, that's like keeping it real in, don't you reckon? Like, would Tony be happy with that? Oh. We should ask her. Hey, Tony! Is Tony with, with someone? Is she, you know, is she loved that? I'm I mean. sure she's doing all right. Do you recognise this, by the way? Is the theme song to watch show? The Claudia oh, Carvin was a huge um, in. Oh, Love gosh. Yes. yes. I never watched it. What? I know. It's the best. I never watched it. Joel I actually, Edgerton. Do you reckon it's one that yes. like, I could go back and watch? Yeah, like now? Love My Way. Okay. But Love My Way is amazing. I didn't watch that either. Oh, my God. Claudia Carvin. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't watch that Good Australian either. dramas. You're a real oh. Claudia head, aren't you? Yeah. What? But, but also, for that, that were the biggest shows on TV as well. Like, yeah, Love My yeah. Way and, and um, Secret Life of Us were as big as it gets. Mm. Oh, see, yeah, that was a bit before my time. I was more of an always greener man and all saints. I loved always greener. Oh. Same. So I, I, much. I bought a T. I was allowed to buy a TV, like a little TV fat back for my um, bedroom and um, just to watch always greener. Yeah. Mm. Always Greener was the best. John Howard. And John then, Howard. And, and then, remember that was very confusing because the Prime Minister was yeah. John Howard at the time. And then the kid in it, who now is a famous director, he directed a Nova TV commercial and I got so starstruck. Oh, my really? goodness. Yes, he's a, he's a famous director now. Is it Noah or he was, oh, he was brilliant. Lovely guy. And he was the kid, the boy in Always Greener. There you go. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. I was too busy in my bedroom listening to Tupac and Coolio. Maybe could bring <laughs> the Michael Jackson songs. I'll bring it up for you. Have a look at this. Wow. Honestly, n- no idea what you're talking about. I like in this photo of Claudia. I was learning and... the Cory for If by yeah, Janet Misha, Jackson. Uh, uh, Ma- Mahalia Bannis. Ma- oh, Ma- Ma- Michaela Bannis. Ma- Michaela Bannis, not Mahalia Bannis. Michaela is one of the nicest people. Yeah, look at yes. these guys. Look at these guys. These was it guys. kind of like, is it, like, this might be a fan. Was it like Home and Away? Yeah, more adult though. More adult than Home yeah, Away. Yeah, yeah. Bit naughtier, bit Ooh, spicier. We haven't, the, we haven't got the name of the. We haven't got the name of the kid or any. Okay, really, the cast of Always Greener. Remember John Howard? Did he? Didn't he used to? Oh no, that's Michael Caton. Remember Hot Property? Yeah. Remember that real gosh. estate show? Oh, that was great. No. I don't even know what it was about. I think it was just about real estate. Boring as hell, but I loved it. Abe Forsyth. Abe. Yes, Abe Forsyth. He was a, he's oh, a Scott great Major. director. I know him. There you go. Anyway, let's mm. let's push on. It's obviously wow. hurting everyone's Morning brains. Well. Here we go. This is, I mean, Harry and Meghan. Now, is this another yet another rumor that they've split up? Because oh. I feel like that's just a narrative. People look. I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of Harry and Meghan, but I'm also not a huge hate. I'm like com si com sa. But they seem to be splitting up all the time. Is this? It's not that. It's not that. Is okay. it about? <laughs> remember when um, Meghan did her big thing with Oprah? Mm. and said, insinuated, or actually said that someone in the royal family questioned, like it was said something quite racist about the baby. Is it about that it's come out who said the thing? No. Oh, oh wow. Okay. What is it then? I'll see myself out. <laughs> no, but that, I, I have seen that in the news, but I don't know. But then wasn't it didn't that, actually say that no. there was anyone? Not this that is I could new. Find? This is funny. Okay. 
Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are claiming that they um, didn't it's expect Meghan. Spotify to turn down so many of their ideas. <laughs> <laughs> their I ideas wonder. are very... They signed a $34 million Australian deal with Spotify, but they parted ways earlier this year after only releasing two podcast series. And Spotify how... were like, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. I think Harry and Meghan need new management. Well, no, but how entitled and just like they've... Well, Harry, how they've clearly not really had many people say no to them of late. Oh, of course. Yeah. So to come Whatever. up against people who are like, yeah, no, nah, that's an that idea. Sucks. Yeah, we'll pass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's final funny. glossy, this is fun. One of our favourites. <gasps> this is Coyle Ray. Yes. And uh, it's something about someone throwing something at yes. her on stage. Yes. yes, in New Zealand. Yes, and she kind of went them. Or she, she went them, have a listen. And I flew 20 hours across states. I'm from Jersey. I will really smack the f*** out of you. Oh. But I gotta keep it professional. So don't f- play with me. Keep that f- on cute and put it the f- She's on She's really you. going on. I mean, stop oh. throwing stuff at artists. It's a real thing at the moment. Oh. Stop it. I like it. All right, we're back after this. Wednesday, we're all not far away. It's Google Off today. Take this job and shove it. Stick a fork at me. I'm done. This is Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Yes. On over. Oh, cool it down. It's the most lackluster fist pumping from us two. I know. Well, I just, you yawned I, and, well, and then I got, I got contagion oh, and yawned well, guys, as well. You know, oh. just mum life, you know. I was up with a baby, a uh, four-month-old at 7 a.m. You know? oh, yeah, your, st- your oh, baby's you staying with you at the moment. <laughs> yeah, but not mum life, not at all. My my very dear friend Katie um, is staying with us for a couple of nights with my goddaughter Ari. And she every morning she, she is stunning. She brings her into the bedroom. It's the rule. Breastfeed her, drop her off, get out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she drops her off in the room. We did this with Yumi all the time too, her big sister. And, um, yeah, it's the best. Laying in bed with just the and She's the happiest little baby. I know she looks happy. I know, but, yeah, I... Anyway, no, two two, we're all two your days get of getting up at 7 a.m., I'm exhausted. You're done. And, up and up all I'm seven. doing is sitting at yeah, 7. Oh, my God, that's And ridiculous. all I'm doing is cuddling a baby. <laughs> We've spun up Google off <laughs> for the Wednesday. We will get to that very soon. Um, but up next... Next, what do people have in their body? Yeah. Yes. Tell us what you had in your body. What have you had in your body? Wow. Okay. Like nurses and doctors. I know this story got both your attention today. Um, yeah. It's an interesting thing. I would not Bizarre. have expected this to get into someone's body. But anyway, we'll discuss it next. It's Tate McRae, 302410. What have people had in their body? Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. On Nova. It's one of those songs that you want to keep going. You want to go a bit longer. Like That's a very good like song. Tate. Tate? Yeah, Tate, Tate. not Tate. Tate <laughs> is is shortchanging us a little bit. There's another know, 30 quite, seconds of Tate. It's a great tune. How long is that song? Um, Not long enough. It's like 2 minutes 22. Oh. It's Richie Benno time. Richie Benno. 2 for 22. 2 for 22. Oh, my God. Cricket reference. Yeah, another 30 seconds. Well three minutes. Give us three. Let's give us three, Tate. And I put them back in, Tate. Tate. Now, um, <laughs> 13, 24, 10. Let's do this. <laughs> Oh, no clip today. Interesting. Oh, no. No, no, no. That's all right. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's cool. Oh, that's oh, no. the clip you love. Is it's, it? it's only his favourite music video. Oh, there it is. It's, she's just walking along the, the boardwalk. I know. Yeah, isn't that amazing her. talent that you can just walk and that's all you need to and, do? like sip on an in and out cup. Is she really that high up for you? Like, is it really... You have you serious? never listened to a word he's I ever have. said? Are you serious? I have, but it's. I think you could do better. So casual. I think like, you could do better. What about Tate? 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 Oh, <laughs> Tate. Or Tate. We've just discovered what a what a babe Tate is in the last few weeks. Chelsea babe. may over Tate, unfortunately, for me still. Okay. She's your, your go to. At the moment. Claudia you know, Carvin. Claudia Carvin. I'll marry Claudia. Okay. Yeah. Um, what would we, we do with this one? <laughs> go to In and Out Burger with her? In and out, out. In and out. In and out burger. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going back to In and Out Burger for? Oh, I'm still hungry. Mm, I could eat In and Out all Again? day. Again? I know. I'm just a big boomba. 
<laughs> what do they call them? Animal fries or something? Animal, yeah. Animal, yeah. Animal, they animal, animal fries style, or something? Animal style is the burger. They've also got right? uh, Bible verses on the inside of their packaging. Did you notice that? So when you open up a uh, In-N-Out burger. Been there burger, too many times. Mm. Do they? <laughs> yeah. In-N-Out. Bible, Bible <laughs> verses um, underneath the cups and in the package, uh, like in the burger wrappers. Chick-fil-A. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, Chick-fil-A is so good. Chick-fil-A um, are, are a bit anti-gay. So, um, <laughs> but, oh, but yeah, that's They right. are, but they're so delicious. So whenever I used to go through a Chick-fil-A drive through I would camp. Super camp. Uh, mm. I'm like, no, yeah, just a chicken burger, please. Thanks, Bash. Thanks, Bash. Bye, Felicia. I really Slay. like also Fat Burger in the US is really nice too. Well, that sounds awful. Oh, it's you know, there's so a good. Burgers right, and like, fat sales. Right in Circular Key now in Sydney. <laughs> yeah, I saw that last time. I did. Town. And there's one in Byron too. What's going on there? Apparently it's it's not great. Unless yeah. of course they want to spend money on the track. And then it's delicious. <laughs> got the Someone three Wahlberg it. brothers like in that photo as well. Like that's your one photo that you've taken. Yeah. There's three of them. Huh? No, there are three of them. I think they're yeah, the, the, they they one, the one of them is the chef. <laughs> yeah, that he one. He does not look anything like Mark. And then really? there's the Donnie yeah. who was in was oh, Of course, Donnie. And then He was in the band, wasn't he? Yeah, and then Mark. Yeah, there you go. And mm. oh my God, is Mark the big one out of the tall one out of them? I know, and he's tiny. Mark Wahlberg is up to my nipples. He's tiny McRae. Tiny. <laughs> tiny McRae. Teeny, tiny. He's a teeny, tiny McRae. He's a teeny, tiny man. And rude when I interviewed him for Ted 2. I'm like, dude, this oh, is the it's attitude. Ted 2, get a grip. That's, that's what I mean. You're talking, oh, next really to like a, Ted pre- <laughs> you're talking next to a pretend teddy bear. This is not a Scorsese film, mate. Oh, but it's like I um I love well, it too, but you don't be rude in the interview for it. True. I love that movie. I love Seth MacFarlane, but that's not the movie you give me actor attitude. True. Yeah. I, yes, you know, um <clears throat> yes, <laughs> well, Seth had the script for me and I thought to myself, I'm like, Are you serious? Yeah. I did the press junket for horrible bosses too, which I mean oh, horrible wow. bosses one was shocking. And um and anyway, like Christoph Waltz <laughs> was so rude to me. I said, Oh, this must have been so much fun to film, you know, Jennifer Aniston, etc. <sighs> Tra. It must have been like, you know, so much fun every day. And he goes, no, this is uh, this is my craft. I take this very seriously. This is not arts and crafts class. Ooh, like, it's it's like, okay. bingo. <laughs> oh, I love him so much. It's kind of his shtick, though. Oh, my yeah, goodness. It's um, scary. So what have We're people had in their body? body? Yeah, what have you had in your body? What have you had in your body? Get in my belly. Mm. Um, this guy from Vietnam experienced severe headaches, fluid discharge, I love oh. that word, <laughs> and vision loss. He was rushed to the emergency room and doctors carried out a CT scan to get to the bottom of the problem, why he was having all of these issues. Mm. Now, they discovered, oh, it says medical experts. Oh. They discovered that a pair of broken chopsticks were penetrating his skull from his nose. How? No, I don't like this. Yeah. I like what we've done there. Thank you. The chopsticks, like <laughs> up his nose, like they, like, like he had like face planted. Oh my god! Oh my chopsticks, gosh, and that's... they were just like wedged into up his nostrils and into his head. So they said that it, um, it, they must have got stuck up there when he was involved in a fight five months ago. Oh, I'm all a fight with some chopsticks. Or chopsticks someone quite... just like well, I famously, famously, <laughs> okay, I can't <laughs> use chopsticks. Yeah, I know. Can't. That's I mean, I called, can. You, this, we talked about this. I'm not very good with chopsticks. I once threw a gyoza across the restaurant in, in Japan, <laughs> trying to get it into my mouth. Oh, oh, I have a fork. There's no shame in asking I for a fork. I mean, for a fork. I would shame you, but there's no yeah, shame in exactly. it. Oh, forky. Um, <laughs> fork oh, crazy. Oh, <laughs> fork crazy remember, is one of my favourites. I know. I remember snapping about four days into my trip to Japan and saying to Jack, I'm so hungry. I just want to eat something, but I can't use the chopsticks. Oh. I've practised, though. Can't... I've gotten better. Yeah. yeah? What? What is it that's so hard? No, I don't think I've got much strength in my hands. Okay. We can work on that. Mm. Why don't you yeah. walk around those little um, hand weights? You know, those little, <laughs> the little No, someone did buy me um, <laughs> kids' chopsticks for Christmas last oh, year. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. the practice, the practice ones. Yeah. Mm. Oh, how, like, how are you going? They can't use those either. I've never taken them out of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, when we come back, Google Off is around the corner, and then I have a fun new little game for you guys. Oh, yeah. okay. okay. It's called Tim's Sophie's Choice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> can't wait. Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel. Nova. Oh, God. wow. Okay, what is it then? I'll see myself out. Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel. Driving you home on Nova. 
This is a block party that just left the country. And it's from an album called Silent Alarm. Oh, that leads me in perfectly to this story. I feel I can kind of feel this woman's pain. Angel is her name. Well, you're and an angel. I'm a little angel girl. And, you know, I've had my issue with my, where my phone was on Do Not Disturb for three months. Yeah. Um, it, well, angel has got a similar issue, but her phone has a glitch where for the last five years her alarm goes off at 9.25am every single day, <laughs> right? <laughs> but she never scheduled the alarm. And there is no alarm activated in her app, so she went and bought a new phone and the glitch is still haunting her. Every single day oh, it goes really? off at 9.25am. Remember annoying. that happened to me? Remember I had that reminder sound go off? It was on air all the time. It was like... Oh, I thought that was your grinder. No, you know that. Yeah, he's got a fancy yeah. grinder. He's got the premium. <laughs> <laughs> That's on the burner phone that stays in the office. That I, that I check oh, right, furiously right. every three minutes. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> in the area. Oh, it's Jermaine again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a guy on Spotify that's just got... What's it called? Your New Morning Alarm. He's just, he's done a live, this is live, it's yeah. like 40 seconds for people to download as their alarm. <gasps> Mark Rebelay, have a listen to this. Okay. Here it comes. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. Get the f*** out of bed, bitch, go. Hey! I need, this is my alarm. How good is it? He's got a good voice. I'm gonna love this. Gotta wake up, gotta wake up, bitch, get up. <laughs> I want I, this. Get up, get up, get up. Get up, bitch. Get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up, get up. Thick Mike Lee. Get up, get up. Just get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Wow. He is He's hectic and I love it. That is mm. a thick mic cord. And is this going really a beer? Thick mic cord. That's, mm, that's my takeaway from that clip. Okay. It's got a thick mic cord. Girthy. Quick, Girthy quick, mic cord. Quick show of hands. I'm not going to say why. Um, choose Callum Scott or Robin? Robin. Or Robin. Oh up my next. gosh, turn it up. I'm standing up. I'm getting out of my chair. Let's turn off the Google lights. Google off yeah. time. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Good choice. Mm, Me favourite. Full stop. <laughs> Good choice. Good choice. Good choice. Mm. Speaking it's the of choices, OG. It's, it's the, the OG. OG. But... Look, look, Callum Scott, we love Callum Scott, but there's just something about it this time of the day, you know, we want the... I oh, know, we the... want that Swedish pop sound. You want mm. the Robin. slamming version. Remember at the V Festival interviewing Robin with uh, Queens of the Stone Age and the presets. I would really love yeah. to see Robin live. I've never had. Oh, the she was amazing, delight. and she was so sweet, so yeah, sweet. I've heard this. You've heard it. Mm. Um, what is going on? Speaking <laughs> of uh, good choice, Tim's Sophie's Choice, the inaugural Tim's okay. Sophie's Choice coming up very soon. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Google it. Google it. Google All right, it. you can Google it. It's worth a Google. Welcome. Google it. It's the Google off. Welcome to it. We're doing it. Thanks to our friends at Nando's who have just delivered some oh, delicious goodness treats in here. There was like a million tendies in here before. Yes. I feel a bit tender afterwards, you know, a in a great tender. way. A bit patty patty tender. Did you have a bit too much of that? Um, I went for it. That hummus in, in a the box. box. Yeah. <laughs> I love hummus in a box. Hummus in a box? There I said it. Yeah, it was bo- <laughs> Don't box me in. Required no utensils. No, no. utensils required. Just use yep. index um, and middle. Uh, like a little pitter pocket. For Google off today, I think we should do, um, <laughs> we can choose our own device because I would like to use my laptop, I've decided. Okay. I've got your laptop Because I've just back. got it. I've got it back. Oh, you got it's it. back. I'm back. The I'm laptop back, that you left at Brisbane Airport or in the... La- laptop I left at Brisbane Airport. Oh, in the I was, car. I was a li- in the car. A bit lit. You're hanging out with Tim and I for a bit, a little bit yeah. too long. Yeah, and I was not. Like, <laughs> you were not much fit to hang out with us. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of stuff like you've lost over the last little while, have you got that little pump pack for the ice bath? Like little pump pack? I've got, I've got it at my house. I'll yeah. bring it to Sydney. <laughs> I'm with, I'll see you in person on Friday. Okay. Will you remember mm. to bring it? Because you've got a lot to do. I oh, know. I'm going to pack problem. tonight. I'm going to pack tonight. I'm going to be organised. You're going to pack tonight? <laughs> I'm going to pack tonight. No, you're not. <laughs> I am. I've already started. 
You? When I was hiding downstairs in my bedroom today. You started packing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, were packing you were packing all right. Okay, yeah. Joel, you're playing for Gabby today. This is the Google off. Hey, Joel and Gabby. Hi, Gabby. Hey. How's it going, guys? Come oh, on, Joel. Good. Yes, Gabby. Slay. Come on, bring the A game. I love the fact you've got multiple devices going. I can see I the do. competitiveness. I do. I'm hot spotting from, uh, yeah, look, the internet in this building is not great. Oh, don't start with that stuff. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> well, do, go, do, it on your, do it on your phone and do it on your 4G or 5G then. I'm hot spotting from my phone. I'm ready to go. I'm ready really? to play. I'm ready to win. Ricky, you're wow. playing for Michael today. Hello. Hi, Michael. Hello, Ricky. Hello. Hello, Hello darling. Wow. What's going on there? Okay. Michael, I'm relaxed. I've got my single device. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty calm. I'm ready for this. Okay, I'm ready to play. I'm going to tap, tap, tap I'm ready on the to keys. Slay. You're doing it on your phone? <laughs> yep. Interesting. On my phone that's got the weird broken Skin case. Taste. I know. What's going on with you? My phone's got hemorrhoids. Oh, oh no. But that would, like, that would, that's no, not it's you so, at all. No, What's it's, happening? I, I haven't. And you're fiddling with it too, which is I know, also no, not like you? No, because if something, if something is kind of coming off, like I have to rip it. Yeah, I get that. I Isn't can't. that sexual tension? Yeah. I'm, Don't I, they say? Babes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Mm. Okay. Are you ready for this? Um, da, I'll ask da, a question. Da, 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 da. Oh, sorry, you need okay. to Google the answer with okay. your laptop slash phone. Calm That's down. nice. Cover all the bases. The first shout, the first to shout out of the answer wins. You can yell it out as many times as you want. Just get it right, okay? Just okay. get it right. Okay. Now, today, I haven't, can I just say, I haven't Googled in a while because the last thing I Googled was hello in Thai. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and <laughs> what is like it? six months ago. <laughs> Hang on. Let me see. Oh, I'll you're such a busy bee on your laptop? Oh, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. Are you picking up someone from Bangkok? <laughs> no, I was there earlier in the year. Okay, let's play. We can play. Sorry, that was rude of me. Today, the Rockefeller tree in New York City is officially lit, right? It's getting Aww. lit. and marks the beginning of the holiday season in NYC. Yo! Yo! Now, around 125 million people will visit the tree each year. It's amazing. Yep. There are more than 50,000 multicolored LEDs that wrap around the tree. Now, this is approximately That's eight kilometres of wire. Mm. Eight kilometres. Yeah. Eight kilometers this year's is... tree is 85 years old. It started actually growing in the 1930s, the tree that they're using now. So it's a real one. It's not fake. Oh, I thought yeah. it was a fake tree. Are you serious? No, I guess. I'm just saying things. The first Christmas tree at Rockefeller Center. If you're going to pick that while I do the Google off question, don't yeah. tell me what I can and can't it's do. I'm on my side of the desk over here. Just picking... I could be sitting here with my pants off for all you know. <laughs> for you not. <laughs> first Christmas tree. <laughs> and I've told you you were allowed to do that. The first Christmas tree at Rockefeller Center was erected <laughs> in 1931. It okay. was 6.1 meters high and yeah. decorated with cranberries. Cool. Paper and tin cans. Mm-hmm. Okay. Speaking of 1931, yeah. actor James Earl Jones was born in January of that year. Yeah. Now, James is known as the voice of... Light Mufasa. D- I am your father. Darth yeah, I was going to say Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Yeah. He's also the voice of... Look, Simba. Yes. Everything Mufasa. the light touches is our, is our kingdom. kingdom. Wow. Mufasa. And, of course, the voice of... This is CNN, a network of Turner Broadcasting System. This is CNN. Now, James Earl Jones has EGOT status. We know that, right? That's an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a town. Yeah. Tony Kalia. Yeah. Viola Davis was actually the last person to receive an EGOT. <gasps> I love Viola. After she won a Grammy for her oh. spoken word album, Finding Me. One of my okay. favourites. <laughs> <laughs> Not. <Okay. laughs> what movie did Viola win the Oscar for? Oh, Viola. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Why is it not saying? Why is it not saying? Oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. Fences. Oh. Yep. Yes! Ah! It didn't come for win. for me. Guys, hey! You did it! For the win. <laughs> Welcome back, baby. <laughs> Gabby, a hundred bucks to spend at Nando as well done. Thank you. I've not seen fences and I love Viola. Of course not. No one has. Congratulations, (laughs) Gabby. (laughs) Yay! Oh, Michael, we're going to give Michael something. We'll give you 50 bucks to spend at Nando's as well, Michael. Okay, congratulations to you. Thank you, guys. Because we love Nando's. Fiery ties. Fight up. Enjoy, They're delicious. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. On Nova. I've heard some ridiculous things in my time. That last three minutes really took it out of me. Well, we were learning a bit of gay lingo and what mother 
actually means Jermaine was teaching us. You know when someone says, oh, she's mother. Mother was mothering. Mother was mothering. That means they're giving someone life. So you say that like you say Dua Lipa is mother. Is that what you say? She's mother. Yeah, people. Yeah, people say does. that. Mother. Mm. And then apparently the, the new thing is that you comment on someone's video. Four you write four plus four, which equals eight, and that means that you ate. She you ate. ate and left no crumbs. She ate and left no crumbs, bitch. Slay! But does that mean that Dua Lipa is the mother? Yeah, Dua Lipa's did mother. She, yeah. Did she eat and leave no crumbs, or did yeah. you eat and leave no crumbs? No, she ate and left no crumbs because she is mother and she's giving life. But what's that got to do with crumbs? Because <laughs> we're kind of it's, ridiculous. We just it's, we come up with a new like slang yeah, every year. The mother, how's it? I don't know the eating and the crumbs. I'm not an idiot. How is but that Lady connected Gaga. to the mother? You Lady Gaga is also crumbs mother. and mother the same thing. What no, is mother, that? mother, oh God. <laughs> mother. Seriously, <laughs> is a new dance move. <laughs> it's like mother. A crowd. Mother is different right. to she ate and left no crumbs. Okay, cool. But a lot of people we will use it in the same sentence. It, it can be combined. Yeah, yeah, it was said in the same sentence and it was used. That's why I was confused. Four plus four. Four plus four. You I just ate. ate. No crumbs. You oh just God. ate that. Apologies for all the normal people listening going, what the hell is happening here? <laughs> it's not community radio. It's not your dance station from your local community radio. Um, Eddie Murphy joining Smallsy again. What? What? Isn't he, isn't he already on the show? Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy joins Smallsy from LA for his new movie Why? Candy Cane Lane on Prime Smallsy's Video. Smallsy's still in LA. I'm yes. so jealous. Well, you don't really go there for a day, do you? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I've got a sneaky suspicion he'll be there till Friday. That's just me. I oh, know. That does make sense. Still? It's still in LA? <laughs> I know. Wow. Does he still have eating dry salad with no dressing? <laughs> Come on, four, Smallsy. Mate. She yeah. ate. Hey, Smallsy no ate a salad. God, Eddie Murphy's really been on that show. Okay, okay, let's do this. Let's talk about Bradley Cooper quickly and then I'll tell you what that's, what that's got to do with uh, Tim's and Sophie's choice. Okay. okay. Um. <laughs> tell me about Bradley Cooper. Tell me something more. Oh, yes. So his new movie Maestro is coming out. It's meant to be epic. Okay. It's another one of Miguel. those things where he really, no. He really, he really leans in. Like he, he, he takes, the, they take over yes. his whole life, right? He learnt to conduct. He, okay. he actually learnt to conduct and he conducted an orchestra for real. Is this like Tar? I was going to say, this sounds a bit like Tar. Or like, you know, remember that? What was that drum movie? Is it Maestro? Whiplash. Yeah, this is my strike. Oh, yeah. this is my yeah, we're we're yeah, yeah, Sorry. Yeah. No, it's all right. You're doing your Miguel stuff while I'm telling you. Teresa. <laughs> I'm Teresa. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys are like five plus four. Teresa, mate. You're leaving heaps of crumbs. That's what that means. Five plus four. <laughs> Up yours. <laughs> wow. So that great. was so we're cool nine. of you. Bradley you never Cooper older. has appeared on the Howard Stern Show to promote Maestro, right? Now, he was asked if he would rather see Maestro win three Oscars or see the... Egg. Oh, well, this is what the grab is. So that's not me, that's not me ruin the grab. Here we go. This is what, this is what happened. Sophie's choice for 2024. You win the Oscar, not only for Best Director, but Best Actor, and Carrie Mulligan wins Best Actress, or the Eagles have a Super Bowl victory. Ooh, what Eagles do you Super choose? Bowl victory. What? Wow. What? Eagles. I know. You're lying I'm now, sick. aren't you? I don't think so, bro. No. So he wants I've got to agree Eagles. with Howard. He's lying. He wants the Eagles to win, not not the Oscars. He's lying. Didn't they he win one liar. recently? They in the last ten years they've won one, haven't they? The Eagles, no. Oh yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm apparently the. NFL expert because I've watched last, a few like, episodes of <laughs> that show on Netflix. <laughs> <Not. laughs> show is coming out um, on Netflix, really. Oh, no, we're releasing Australian cinemas next Thursday and then Netflix December 20. It looks amazing. Cool. Um, and yeah, real, like the people in the real orchestra came up and said, you really conducted us. Like, you really did it. Wow. Yeah, it was amazing. Well, he really goes all in for a film. Like, oh. when he, with The Star Is Born, he spent years working yeah. on his vocals and his voice so that he could even just get his speaking voice down that low. Yeah, Marlon. Alone the singing and the playing. And Marlon Williams ta- taught him guitar and singing, the New Zealand born. Oh my God. Remember I showed you that video and we talked about there's it for a lot to it, isn't it? Oh my God. There's a lot to acting sometimes. Well, there's a lot of you, Bradley Cooper. He's doing it the real way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah proper. Yeah. He's really good. Yeah. Anyway, I've got a Tim Sophie's choice for both of you. <laughs> okay. And then we're getting out of here real quick. <laughs> oh, where have you got to be? Well, let's start. We've got places to be. By the way, if you are in Sydney, Live Nation have confirmed that the Post Malone show will go ahead in the domain, even though the weather is atrocious. Oh, it's like Christina on Saturday. Post Malone to the domain. Yeah, that's what I was. That's what I was talking about. The weather and it's going to be cancelled, mate. Your ears playing on today. <laughs> they are. 
I'm you a hot mess this? today. No, no, I am. If you knew how much of a hot mess I was today. <laughs> That's I know, I've never seen you rip. You, you, you normally sew together and you're ripping your phone apart. Okay, Tim Sophie's Choice. Okay, uh, okay. Some music. Okay, this is for you, Joel. You're going to go first. Mm, I've, okay. got, I've got two oh. for you. Oh, no. So, no more CNN ever <gasps> or no more youth injections. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, that is so hard. When you say youth injections, are you including Botox and filler? Yep, all of it. Dr. Yep. Youth. Yep. Talk to you. No more CNN. <laughs> if I'm go. being perfectly honest, yeah, right, that's fine. That's no fine more you. CNN because I can't get my news from other sources. Oh. Okay. okay. Mm. Ricky, you've got one. I've got one more each for you. Okay. No more UFC ever. Okay. You oh. never consume it, watch it, see it, talk about it. What am I supposed to do? Or no more thing? cans of V. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tim Sophie's Choice. Welcome Tim to Sophie's it. Tim Sophie's Choice. I'm, I'm no, so- you have to pick one. I cannot survive without V. I have it every day. There you go. UFC is one day of a week. Okay, perfect. Okay, one more. <clears throat> I'll just watch boxing, like you said. Joel. <laughs> and I've still got Formula One. Joel, yeah. you're never ever to sit in another first class airline seat ever again. Well, I've never have in my life, so that would be really nice to try. No, all right, well, pr- no all right, front, of, front of the plane, front of the plane. Oh no, okay, okay, yeah. No more so first no class. More, no more first class seat or no more seat at a musical, ever. Ooh. <laughs> no more first class seat. Okay, there what? You, go, nice. you would fly economy everywhere so you could watch musical no, theatre shows. I oh, fly okay. business. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last one for you, Ricky. This is Tim Sophie's choice. Oh, okay, <clears throat> this is actually really. Upsetting. No more McDonald's ever. <gasps> How rude. <laughs> or never, ever, ever have a number one song or album. <laughs> um, uh, you know what? I'm not going to do music forever. Yes, <laughs> Mackin. <laughs> and that was Tim Sophie's choice. We will see you tomorrow with Quick Draw. The Vicious back. Quick Draw tomorrow. We'll see you then. Oh, maybe it's half Harold. <laughs>